this issue, and we've heard it from many speakers, is actually a Trojan horse for what is really wanted, which is uh, removing sections 58 and 59 of the Offences Against the Persons Act, which would introduce abortion on demand for any reason up to 24 weeks. And that's crucially what this debate is really about. And it's disrespectful to women in Northern Ireland to pretend it is about anything else, and especially in the year of suffrage. Because while we celebrate 100 years of women actually getting the vote, in Northern Ireland, for the Catholic nationalist community, it's only 50 years since they got the vote. They had to have a civil rights movement to be heard. They had to go through the years of the troubles to hit to have their voice heard, and yet in this debate we're actively saying they cannot have a debate or a say in whether abortion uh, is extended in Northern Ireland. And what do they get? I'm, I'm sure the Honourable Member is laughing, but what do the Catholic nationalist communities get in Northern Ireland now? They get no representation in this place, despite having a vote, because their elected representatives fail to show up. They get no representatives in Stormont uh, on this issue, because their elected representatives fail to get round the table. And now we are saying to them they'll get no representation on abortion law changes, because we don't want to have them to have a referendum. We're saying to them that the women in Westminster know best. That's not only insulting, it's undemocratic and it flies in the face of women's rights and women's choices. I'm very happy to have a debate in this place, Mr Speaker, on all aspects of abortion. But let's look, if we're truly serious about having modern abortion laws, about the time limit that's set in, this, in the UK. We're seeing in the Republic of Ireland in the recent uh, referendum, they will just set their time limit to 12 weeks, as is the case in Austria, in Belgium, in Bulgaria, in the Czech Republic, in Denmark, in Estonia, in France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Poland and Slovakia. In Northern Ireland, it's 30, in Netherlands, it's 13 weeks. In Portugal, it's 16 weeks. It's Romania, it's 14 weeks. In a Comrades poll, 70% uh, of women in the United Kingdom would like to see the time limit reduced. If we're going to have a modern-day abortion in this country, let's have an honest and genuine discussion. And let's not hide behind pretending this is about rights for women in Northern Ireland. Because that, if women want to change it, we should be promoting that they have the say. If we're going to have a debate, Mr Speaker, on uh, abortion in the United Kingdom, we need to explicitly ban sex-selective abortions which, which proactively discriminate against female babies. We need to equalise the time limits for terminations between those who have got a disability and those who are able-bodied. And we need to have a, a debate about independent counselling. This is about women's choice. This is about women's rights. But let's hear about the whole debate and not just selective uh, messages from members of yeah, yeah.